So, as promised, I said that I would tell the story of my 183rd day of last year when I wrote Ellen a letter every day for one year. So, I was in contact with the local newspaper, and they knew that my, you know, halfway mark was coming up, and they wanted to do a little piece on it, and I was like, yeah, sure, that sounds like great publicity, and I was, I was going to send the the article to Ellen when it was published, and I wrote, like, pretty much every day until it was published, going, like, oh, I'm going to be in the paper, like, I talk about the letters, uh, it's going to be really, really exciting, blah, 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 blah. We had a lovely interview, we went and took pictures at the mailbox, which is pretty close to my house, and I was super excited about it. One thing that I made sure the reporter knew was that I did not want her to use the word obsessed in the article, because... Like I have vlogged about, I think there's a negative connotation, and I just don't like that word. When it was published, not only did she use the word obsessed twice, but one of which I was quoted saying. And I was blown away at the the spin that she took on the whole article. She put it in this um, stalker sort of vibe, it was, I was really offended by it. I could not believe what she wrote. She misquoted me, she made up stuff, I don't know where she came up with some of the stuff, but it was just like, what? It was really embarrassing. Um, I come from a little town, so a lot of people read that newspaper and they were like, oh, and I was like, oh my God extremely embarrassing and so I was writing to Ellen like oh I'm gonna send you the, the, th the article and so like when the article came out I did send it to her and like looking back I probably shouldn't have because I was so embarrassed it was mm, I should have written to the editor I should have emailed her and been like what the hell that was super weird and inappropriate and I'm upset about it but I didn't and I feel like it's been a year now, so it's too late. <laughs> Needless to say, I did not go that route this year. Mm -mm. On a happier note, I was watching TV and I saw a little promo for the Comedy Network. And they were advertising um, a stand-up-a-thon for Thanksgiving weekend. And they had a bunch of different stand-up people. But then Ellen's little clip came on and it's like, Are you sad? Do you have anxiety? From her stand-up piece from a, a few years back when her hair was longer, and it was hilarious. I could watch that thing over and over again. I love that stand-up piece. So yeah, I'm going to watch that on the weekend, on Thanksgiving weekend, which is coming up this weekend. I'm super excited to go home, and I will watch Ellen on the TV, because I actually haven't seen that one in a while. So it'll be like a nice refresher. Oh yay, I'm happy about that. Tomorrow's Monday, which means it's Monkey Monday, which means I have something to look forward to. And because it's going to be a long day tomorrow, i got a lot of work to do. Yep. Anyway, keep on smiling and dancing. Bye.